Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will discuss another important topic. Remember we are uh, discussing the first unit of the syllabus which is elementary mathematics. In the last lectures I gave you the idea of function, the domain of the function, co-domain of the function. Then we discussed the classification of functions. Uh, we discussed the idea of surjection, injection and a bijection. Today we discuss the idea called graph. So let me write graph of a function. So this is our today's topic graph of a function remember if we have a function y is equal to f of x now by definition this function yields a collection of Pairs x comma f of x or I can say x comma y in which x is any element in the domain of the function domain of the function mm -hmm. and f of x or y So f of x or y is the corresponding value of the function. Now these pairs are called ordered pairs, right? So whenever we have any function, it will yield a collection of pairs, x f of x corresponding to each value of x, there will be a value of the function and when you pair uh, collect these pairs you will have a collection of such pairs x y or x f of x in which x is any element in the domain of the function and f of x or y is the corresponding value of the function now these pairs are called ordered pairs so any function is simply then what it's a collection of ordered Pairs. So let me give you an example. Obtain eleven ordered pairs. For the function y is equal to 3x minus 2. So, this is a question. It is saying obtain 11 ordered pairs for the function y is equal 
3x minus 2. So you can see the domain of this function is the set of real numbers. So you can put x any real number and find the value of the function that is the value of y and uh, make a collection of 11 or any number of ordered pairs. Question says make it 11 ordered pairs. So we will do it. So at random you can take any 11 uh, real numbers as your x and find the value of corresponding y. So let me draw the table. In that table I will collect these 11 ordered pairs. So let this represent x and let this be y. So let me take one value for x as 1. See when my x is 1 what is y? y is 3 times 1 minus 2 which is 3 minus 2 which is 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. So this is 1 order to be a 1, 1. x1, one, y1. One. Similarly, I take now the value of x as minus 2. You can check when x is minus 2, it will become 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6, minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. So my y is minus 8. Right? Similarly, if I take my x as minus 4 by 3 and what will be my y it will be minus 6 you can check it y is equal to 3 times if x is taken as minus 4 by 3 then it is minus 2 what will be y 3 3 will cancel out you will get minus 4 minus 2 which is minus 6 right so when x is minus 4 by 3 y is minus 6 then if i take x is minus half what will be y when you write here minus half it will be minus 7 by 2 minus 7 by 2. You can check it. y equal 3 times instead of x you write minus half. Then there is minus 2. It will be minus 3 over 2 minus 2. That is 2 as your else in. It will be minus 3. Here it will be minus 4 which is minus 7 by 2. So when x is minus half, y is minus 7 by 2. And similarly, let me change the color. If I take x as 0, that is also a real number, and I put x 0, what is y? y is simply minus 2. If x is 1 by 3, what is y? y is minus 1. When you take x as 1 by 3, the 3 will go. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Then, if you take it 2, what is y? y will be 4. Right. When you put x as 2, 3 2s are 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. If you take x as 3, what is y? 3 times 3 is 9, 9 minus 2 is 7. 
So y will be 7 or the value of the function will be 7, the 3, 7. Similarly, if you take 4 as your x, 3, 4 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10. So when x is 4, y is 10. How many order views we have constructed? Or collected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let us do two more. Take x as 5 by 2, for example. If I take x as 5 by 2, y will be. 11 by 2. Check it. y is equal to 3 times x I take 5 by 2. Then I have minus 2. Then it will be 5 3 is 15 by 2. Minus 2. Then my LCM will be 2. It will be here 15. Here it will be 2 to the 4. Right. So it will be 15 minus 4 is 11. So it will be 11 by 2. So when x is 5 by 2, y is 11 by 2. Then take one more. Let me change the color. Where is my color? We take green. If x is taken as 5, what's y? y is 5, 3 is 15, 15 minus 2 is 30, right? 5, 3 is 15 minus 2 is 30. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, we have collected 11 ordered pairs for this function. If we list them, it is 1, 1, then it is minus 2, minus 8, Change the color here. Minus 2, minus 8. Then you write minus 4 by 3, minus 6. Then we have minus half, minus 7 by 2. Then we have 0 and minus 2. Then we have 1 by 3 minus 1, then I have 2 and 4, then I have 3 and 7, then I have 4 and 10, then I have 5 by 2 and 11 by 2, and then I have 5 and 30. These are my 11 ordered pairs. 1, 1, Minus 2 minus 8 minus 4 by 3 minus 6 minus half minus 7 by 2, 0 minus 2, 1 by 3 minus 1, 2, 4, 3, 7, 4, 10, 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2, comma 11 by 2, 5 and 13. Right? So this is how you can see that a function is a collection of ordered theorems. Now, we have an another idea that we discussed that, that is the idea of the rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. What is rectangular Cartesian's coordinate system? There is a device in a plane. What we do? We take two orthogonal let me First, draw the figure, then I use the other color. We take two orthogonal coordinate 
real number scales intersecting in O at this point B O, which is called origin. This we call Y axis, this we call X axis. This is my X axis and this is my Y axis, right? So this rectangular Cartesian coordinate system we construct in a plane, it is a device by which there is established. So what we do, we establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the points of the plane and the ordered years of real numbers in general a b right so we construct two orthogonal real number scales they intersect at some point o then what we do we take this direction of x to the right as positive this is the a to for x Similarly, this direction for y is positive and downward is taken as negative. Then what we do, we establish a one-to-one -one relationship between the points of the plane and the ordered pairs of real numbers. That means corresponding to each point in this plane, there is an ordered pair of real numbers and corresponding to each ordered pair of real numbers there is a point in the plane that is the meaning of the one to one correspondence right so to understand it let p be any point let p be any point in the plane now this point has coordinates a b that means what that means this let me explain it we connect this point p to the origin by the straight line now this line o p has a projection on x axis what is the projection you draw a perpendicular from point P on the x-axis, you draw a perpendicular from, from point P on the y-axis. Now the distance from point O to the foot of perpendicular M on x-axis, this OM is the projection of OP, projection of OP, on x axis right and the distance from point o to the foot of perpendicular drawn on y axis this bn this on is the projection of op on y axis now, if this point P represents an ordered pair of real numbers A, B, then this O, M length is A. And O, N length, that is the projection of O, P on Y axis, this length represents 
the second real number of b, right? This is now uh, this a uh, pair of uh, real numbers ordered uh, pair of real numbers a b. These are called the rectangular Cartesian coordinates of point P. Right. Now the first coordinate A, let me write it here. The first coordinate which is in this case A in general gives the directed distance of P from the Y axis. You can see if you move directly from the y axis to point P, you have to travel distance A. So, this first coordinate A gives the directed distance of point P from the y axis. It has a name, this first coordinate, it is called abscissa. Ab of point P. Similarly, the second coordinate, the second coordinate B gives what? The directed distance gives the directed distance of point P from the x axis. You can see the second coordinate gives how much directly point P is away from the x-axis. It gives us the directed distance of P from the x-axis. It has also the name, it is called, the second coordinate is called the ordinate, ordinate of point P. So this way, corresponding to each ordered pair of real numbers, we have a point in the plane, right? And its interpretation is this way. So remember, the origin point P has coordinates 0, 0, right? Now the axis divide the plane into four sections. One section, section second, section third and section four. Now these four sections are called, we'll use some other color, this one. These four sections are called quadrants. So we have four quadrants in this plane when we talk of rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. Now it is customary uh, to number these quadrants and their respective signs of the coordinates of a point in each quadrant. This first quadrant, we name this quadrant as first quadrant, this as second quadrant, this as third quadrant, and this is fourth quadrant. What about the signs of the coordinates in first quadrant? Both coordinates, abscissa and ordinate are positive. 
in second quadrant plus coordinate is negative second coordinate is positive in third both coordinates are negative and in fourth first coordinate is positive second is negative that means all those are ordered pairs of real numbers in which the signs of both numbers is negative will fall in third quadrant all those ordered real pairs of real numbers in which first is negative second is positive will fall in second quadrant and similarly goes for first and fourth quadrants so this is the idea of writing the coordinate system we constructed this way to vertical lines orthogonal to each other then we establish one to one correspondence between the points in the plane and the ordered pairs of real numbers remember if you take an ordered pair of real numbers one two it is not the same as two one in one two you have x coordinate is one y coordinate is two but in two one your x coordinate is two and y coordinate is one so they are not same points in the rectangular cartesian coordinate system they will be two different points right then using this idea further we talk of a function sorry the graph of a function which is our main topic the graph of a function now what is the graph of a function if we have some function in general y is equal to f of x then the graph of a function y is equal to f of x consists of the totality write it clearly totality of points x y whose coordinates satisfy the relation y is equal to f of x so if you have some function then its graph is what it is all the points x y whose coordinates sets by the relation y is equal to f of x we will give an example to understand it so if it is asked graph the function 3x minus 2. This we have already discussed. This function 3x minus 2. We are asked to graph it. So, what we have to do, we have to build first the table of values. We have already constructed that in this example. We have constructed 11 ordered pairs pertaining to this particular function y is called 3x minus 2. So that part is already done. Then what we do, we plot these points. For that, I have to construct a rectangular. Cartesian coordinate system. So let me construct that. 
is I will do it roughly, you would understand it. This is my x-axis. This side I have my direction is positive, and in case of y, my upward direction is positive. Then this is my origin. Then I've already done that. This is my origin. Then what I do, I mark the distances that this much distance represent one, then here it is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this side also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there will be negative side also. You have to separate this distance 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When you do this procedure, then what you do? You select your points or ordered pairs. For example, I select first 1, 1. And find it on the graph. So this point, when I move from the origin along the x-axis is one unit, and one unit along the y-axis, both are positive. That means this point is my one one. Got it? Then I take some. I will only take simple points from this. Let me take this first, 0 and minus 2, 0 and minus 2, so 0, then I have minus 2, that means I have to go along negative y direction, 2 units, this is 0, so this is 0 and, I will use another color here, 0 and, this is my 0 and, minus 2 point this one let me take another point so this i have taken this i have taken i will take minus 2 i will not take fractions minus 2 and minus 8 minus 2 and minus 8 now on negative x is this way 1 2 this minus 2 then i have to go minus 8 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 and minus 8 minus 2 and minus 8 so this point is minus 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is this point corresponds to minus 2 and minus 8 so this is my minus 2 and minus 8 then you can similarly take one more point for example I take 4 and 10 4 on positive side 1 2 3 4 then I have to move 10 units in positive y direction 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then there is one more unit here. So this is 4 on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is my point. Roughly, this is 4 and 10. This was another point, another order we are corresponding to this particular function. Now it is enough, we join these points. I will do it roughly by freehand. It was all rough. So this way I do it. It is difficult on this graphic table to join for me 
this is the rough graph of this function so this line is the graph of the function y is equal to px minus 2 this is the meaning of graph so when you have to graph the function what do you do you build a table of values or you collect some ordered pairs pertaining to this function then you this way drawing a Cartesian coordinate system right then you find some points on the graph uh, some points you plot the points then you pass a smooth curve through these points this way remember when in this graph we have not uh, graphed all the points pertaining to this function we only graphed some only four points and we have in between these points joined them by a straight line because we know this is a linear equation it is a straight line it will be a straight line right there are other points also uh, uh, pertaining to this function which we have not plotted for example you can take value of x as 1000 then if you check the value of y will be 2998 then check it if i take x as 1000 then it will be 3 into 1000 minus 2 so it will be 3000 minus 2 which is 2,998 so 1,000, 2,998 is an order here pertaining to this function but we have not shown that in the graph because it is not necessary always to show all the points when we have surety that graph is like this we take some points and connect them with your free hand in this case it was a linear equation only two points are sufficient we know there is only one and one straight line passing through two points then when uh, we for a chuck take one or uh, one or more or two more points and uh, that means we take three or four points but two are sufficient to find the graph of a straight line this is how we construct the graph of a function right so when we have a function all totality of the points whose coordinates satisfy the relation y is the graph of x that means if uh, you take the coordinates of the points they will satisfy this relation 3x minus 2 we have already checked with that because we have taken points from the table those points already satisfy this so then we graph them connect them in the plane so this is the meaning of the graph so there is one more thing I want to tell you that is let me add the page now any value of x for which the corresponding value of function 
f of x is 0 is called a 0 of the function right so what is the zero of the function any value of x for which the corresponding value of the function f of x is zero that value of x is called zero of the given function there is one more thing such values that means zeros of the function such values of x are also called roots of the equation roots of the equation f of x is equal to 0. So keep this thing in mind. So if you have some function, now you put uh, some value of x and find the value of the function. If the value of the function is 0 for that value of x, then that value of x is called 0 of the function. And those zeros, that means those values of x are also called roots of the equation f of x is equal to 0. That means if you have some function, you equate that function to 0, you will get an equation. The zeros of the function are the roots of this particular equation. Right? Now, uh, sometimes we are interested in finding the real roots of an equation f of x is equal to 0, right? Sometimes we do uh, find those real roots of an equation f of x is equal to 0 uh, through uh, calculations or sometimes we approximate them by estimating from the graph of f of x the abscissas of its points of intersection with the x-axis. That means we graph the function f of x to find the uh, real roots of the equation f of x is equal to 0 and see where this graph of f of x intersects with the x axis we find those abscissas where it intersects because there it is becoming zero then this way we find or approximate or estimate the uh, roots of the equation f of x is equal to zero so this was an additional thing for you I hope it's clear to you. So let me, before leaving, summarize today's lecture. So what we did today, first I told you what is a graph. In graph first I discussed that if we have any function y is equal to f of x, it will yield a collection of pairs, x f of x or x y in which x is any element in the domain of the function and f of x is the corresponding value of the function. These pairs we call ordered pairs. So any function is a collection of ordered pairs. Then we did this example. We took this function y is equal to 3x minus 2. We found its 11 ordered pairs. Right. Then we talked about the rectangular Cartesian coordinate system in which we take, in which we take two uh, real scales or I should say you take two straight lines at right angles to each other 
right they intersect at point o then you decide about the positive direction in y you take upward positive downward negative in x to you take rightward positive leftward negative then we establish one to one correspondence between points in the plane and the ordered pairs of real numbers kp then we uh, name them x coordinate is abscissa and y coordinate is called ordinate then we divide this uh, plane into four quadrants first second third and fourth so corresponding to each ordered pair of real numbers there will be a point in the plane in this rectangular cartesian coordinate system and corresponding to each point in this rectangular cartesian coordinate system there will be an uh, ordered pair of real numbers and i told you remember one two is not the same as two one then we talked about the graph which is simply the totality of points which coordinate to satisfy this equation so we graphed the function 3x minus 2 we had already found these 11 ordered uh, pairs pertaining to this function we selected some and found them in the rectangular coordinate system and joined them the curve in this case straight line which we obtained is the graph of this particular function then i told you about this nomenclature the value of the x for which the function is equal to zero that value of the x is called zero of the function or such values of x for which the function is zero are called the roots of the equation f of x equal to zero and i told you we estimate real roots of some equation f of x is equal to zero by graphing the function and seeing uh, uh, abscissas where it touches the x-axis its graph touches the x-axis or intersects with the x-axis right so this is all for today uh, you can like share and subscribe my channel you can leave comments also thank you assalamu alaikum